With the arrival of a black SUV parked in front of the store, the black SUV was used to ram and break the store door. This gave the perpetrators access to the inside of the store. The perpetrators immediately began the operation. And why each video always start like this? Somebody ramshacking. They quickly and meticulously executed their plan. In no time, the perpetrators could escape, leaving the store damaged by their actions. The investigation revealed that many of the stolen firearms were found in Oakland. In the dark of night in southwest Houston, a convenience store is the scene of a reckless incident inside the store at 1 a.m. That's why I'm looking for them damn, um... Floss, bro. Or a toothpick. But I can't even find them. In the captured surveillance footage, two unidentified individuals enter the store and carefully plan their crime. One pretends to select items, while the other approaches the cashier with an ulterior motive. Um, no damn way you're in that stomach fit be fucked up. Drinking all that mad dog. Wordlessly, one of the suspects suddenly points a gun at the clerks, forcing them to give away items for free. Pull your pants up, man. God damn, bro. God niggas is goofy, gang. The tense clerks gave the suspects what they wanted. In an instant, the robbers were gone from the store, leaving chaos and fear in their wake. An unexpected drama ensues when a reckless act disrupts everyday life in a quiet neighborhood. No. That's that's some shit for real you have seen, man. In the bright light of day, Three policemen arrive on the scene after receiving hey, reports hey, they from residents. That boy. They're confronted hey, by a man gonna, who refuses to deal off. with the situation. It looked like it. Oh, 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 crack his speed, I told y'all, I told y'all. Look, he was gonna do it for us. In a tense moment, the officers finally take action. A stun gun is fired into the man's body. However, the man did not give up so easily. He quickly ran away while being laughed at by the audience who witnessed the incident. Eventually, the officers were able to secure the man. He looked, he looked at the door that's recording and he laughing too. Like, yeah, that shit was funny. I ain't gonna lie. We didn't catch him. Look. But they other, called him though. The man did they not give up him. so easily. He quickly ran away while being laughed at by the audience who witnessed the incident. Eventually, the officers were able to secure the man. Amidst the euphoria <laughs> of the graduation ceremony they are about to attend, a group of young men displays something unusual. It's always the love niggas, bro. That's why I don't like, I don't really like having love niggas around me. I have them around me, bro. They got a little head and shit on them, like a little shoulder and shit, bro. You got really, you feel me? You just really just want to. You want to be all on the camera doing everything, bro, and then you talk loud, bro? Do you a high head? Yeah, bro, I can't have that around me, man. That's, that's just too much, you feel me? I don't even be on that type of hypey shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really trying to build some shit. I'm trying to get things going, so. When I see this type of shit, man, that shit just be like, damn, bro. I do it, boy. I'm from the grade. I told you my daughter's Footage shows young men excitedly gathering to attend a graduation ceremony. One of them shows off a gun he is carrying. This becomes even more conspicuous. I mean, we be in a... No, I ain't gonna say, bro. No, nah, man, we can really get them things in there, bro. They ain't no problem. They ain't, they ain't nothing. Shit, man. And that's at the point, bro, now, like... Even niggas, who, even the people at the scanners, they even, you know, they be ain't on it now. No. <laughs> shit, we be having them scared. Well, they be having them scared and shit. Little niggas be having them scared, bro. This shit, what? This shit behind me, bro. Play the same thing. Get up out of there. Hey, look, though, look. Right. Oh, folks, we finna entertain y'all. Oh. Them ain't shit. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? The existence of this footage raises a big question in everyone's mind. Was this provocative, or was there some malicious intent at the event? In the middle of a busy sunny day, a man went live on Instagram, unaware of the bad luck that awaited him. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, they say Soldier ain't from the hood. 
not. Hey, what's it, uh, wasn't that boy, what's that boy name? Blueface, Blueface. Was it Blueface was trying to get at him and shit, then he went to his hood and shit. They said, who sold your boy? <laughs> Even for him to be famous, gang. They still didn't know who he was. That shit was wild. Like, hell no. Nah. In the footage, the Even if they didn't even know who you was in the, in the, in the, as a celebrity, they should know you in the streets game. Like, yeah, that's little hey, Timothy. My mama. Yeah, his mama used to. What the man? His mama is Martha. No, I'm saying, but no, his footage, mama name is Jasmine. The man tries to interact with someone walking Jasmine on the side Frazier. of the road. However, instead of a friendly response, Soldier Boy reacts unpleasantly, <laughs> resulting in the man's cell phone being dropped in the chaos. No. Not a factor. When the cell phone was dropped in the ongoing altercation, someone nearby saw an opportunity to pick up the phone. Without hesitation, he picked it up and turned off the live feed. On a sunny day in Irvine, everyday life in a jewelry store suddenly turns into a scene from an action movie. Damn, damn. In the CCTV footage, an unexpected moment occurs immediately. Three masked robbers enter the store hey, with surprising thing. boldness, turning and the atmosphere. That's the thing, bro. They do that shit like, cause I said this in the one video, bro. Like I don't understand why I don't have like like they have um, the cages, but like I see in the beginning, they are asking them man who. So like I don't just have like security, bro. You feel me? Ain't nobody on that. They gonna think twice when they see security for sure. They gonna think twice. I say I don't know, man. I lock the jury up or something. I want to start putting the jury up in the safe. Shit, something, bro. Cause I, if that damn me easy shit, then I'm gonna go down there. And shit, or give me a couple, no. <laughs> Could give me a couple. Handsome chaotic. Iced up. No. Nah. I will not be iced up. I'm gonna be doing what they be doing. Killing them motherfuckers. <laughs> They smash the glass display cases with hammers with enthusiasm, creating a booming sound that echoes throughout the store and leaves a profound impression. Unfortunately, the perpetrators are still at large and have left valuable clues for the police. A horrific incident day. occurred in California at a shopping mall while some shoppers were out shopping. A flash mob with well-coordinated tactics entered the mall and performed a shocking stunt. In footage from a mall shopper, a group of suspicious-looking people entered the mall with the equipment to perform this stunt. Try grab me some gang. Their actions are swift and organized. Using the chirping of birds as a means of communication, they storm several stores in the mall. Chaos and panic were created, leaving mall shoppers. They had shoppers all that time to take everything, and nobody, but the police wasn't there. I called on that shit crazy. Like, y'all must want to get y'all shit took. You feel me? Y'all, y'all didn't want it that bad. I mean, then like you know how the stores, like the convenience stores or some stores. Like, I think Family Dollar do that when they really when they catch y'all ass or like uh what is that? But some stores, bro, be having like they can lock the door on them, bro. You feel me? So why y'all don't do that shit? And they got have security in that motherfucker. Where they at? Where they at? You know what I'm saying? They on top of that, bro. They on top of that, bro. They looking at this shit. I'm scared. First day and shit. First day being the security. You just see a group of niggas just... A group of folks is in there. First day. OG like, man, buckle up. You ready? It's your time. Cause he, he tired, he tired doing this, you know what I'm saying? He like, uh, but yeah, man, it's kind of crazy though, man. They could have locked the door and shit. They could have had a little button to control it from the security. But employees confused and afraid, in the silence of a Cleveland night, an armory bears witness to an electrifying act of recklessness. Mm. Two black masked figures break into the warehouse in the middle of the night. Once inside, they quickly spring into action, shattering the glass where the guns are stored. 
Hey, man, what, hey, what's going on, man? Why are everybody taking straps and shit, man? What's gonna be a war or something, bro? What's going on? Oh, yeah, what, what's going on with y'all, little young? Y'all get youngins. Youngins. What y'all telling us? What, what's going on? Y'all not telling us, man. Y'all sure is taking hella guns. Guns and, and this is like some Batman shit going on, bro. Y'all y'all doing some moves like on some penguin shit. This some two face type of shit. Yeah, two face was saying he's going to do some shit like this and shit. Black mask and shit. You feel me? What fuck y'all got going on, bro? This shit is wild, gang. Oh my <laughs> Oh in an instant, the weapons are taken and placed in their bags before fleeing into the night. This incident left the armory in chaos, with items scattered everywhere. On a quiet night in Round Rock, the situation in a convenience store suddenly becomes tense. She's like right there, bro. You should have locked the door, gang. Three people wearing suspicious clothing enter the store with a purpose different from that of a regular shopper. In the CCTV footage captured, one of them, with his face covered, walked straight up to the cashier and pointed a gun huh. at the store owner. This situation caused panic for the store owner at the time. Nah. He was supposed to be excited and shit, y'all. Duh, of course he was panicking. He was frightened. What? Boy, he was scared as hell. This is was the third time this week. God damn it. I told, I told John, I told John. Told Timothy to, to put that damn whistle in. Ah oh, shit. Everything going dead. Well not this shit. Hold on. Huh? I did charge it. You know what I'm saying? I did charge this. This motherfucking mic and shit in the way. Shit up, man. Come on, shit. A little short video today, there. Fuck it. It's cool. Meanwhile, his two colleagues quickly grabbed the items they had targeted. The perpetrators had the items they wanted and fled the scene in no time. It was a sunny day at a gas station when an unexpected event occurred, turning the atmosphere into tension. And I had drama. a car like that. Oh man, I had a Tahoe Expedition. Clean. I still got the tires outside. One of them, but yeah, man, that shit clean. I had a Honda Accord 1997 Expedition. I had a uh, Buick, oh me, green, <laughs> green, oh me. Catch them hands, catch them hands, huh? catch them hands. A female huh? driver argues with another woman at the gas station. The woman outside the car throws an angry rock at the driver's car, triggering an emotional response from the driver. The female driver decides to plan her reaction carefully. In a tense moment, the driver performs an unexpected stunt. Damn. Damn. Damn, y'all see what happened, bro? When the female driver when decides do, to plan her when, when you let motherfuckers get to you, gang. When you let motherfuckers get to you, gang. If you don't control your anger, bro, this will fucking happen, bro. This is the perfect example, bro. This is crazy, gang. Because she trying to hit that. You feel me? She trying to hit shawty. Shawty talking cash shit. You feel me? And she trying to... Mm, she trying to... Mm, she want to hit her back. Cause she knows she ain't got hands for real. Hey, hello, hello. So she can't do that. She can leave you hit her with a car, right? With another woman at the gas station. Ooh, ooh. The woman outside the car God, throws an damn. angry rock at the driver's car, triggering an emotional response from the driver. The 
female driver decides to plan her reaction carefully. She gonna drag In a tense that moment, bitch. the driver performs an unexpected stunt. Oh man, it's always the thick bitches fighting. I mean, my bad. It's always the thick females fighting. This shit crazy. All you gonna see is he. All you gonna see is boing 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 boing. And I swear, boy, what? <laughs> <laughs> on the guys, bro. All you see is thighs on the guys, bro. Thighs at. I mean, uh. <laughs> what, hey, what the editor you say? Melons and shit. The melons. <laughs> see, melons. <laughs> and cushions, nigga. Well, not that. But yeah, you know. Butts and shit. Crazy. <laughs> What's the, what's the emoji, the little peach emoji and shit? After oh, the incident at the gas damn. station, the female driver leaves the scene in a huff. God damn. However, <laughs> after the incident at the gas station, the female driver leaves the scene in a huff. However, she is in for a surprise. The woman was involved in an accident oh, that caused wild, her car. Gang. That's wild, gang. Oh, I hate, oh, I hate to look After at that. The oh, the station, the female driver leaves Ooh, the scene wee. in a huff. However, she is in for a surprise. The woman was involved in an accident that caused her car to oh. flip over, ending this showdown. On the ordinarily nah, bustling street. We're going to continue this for me. I, I like this video, man, for the show, man. Hey, man, y'all already know, man. Follow that y'all goal and shit, man. You feel me? Um. Make sure y'all uh like, subscribe, and share, man. Y'all know you become part of Yami. You feel me? We need to get to this 500, man. I'm trying to get 500 subscribers, gang. Okay? 500 subscribers, gang. Okay? And y'all know I'm saying your boy birthday coming up. You feel me? August the 12th, nigga. That's on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? So man, we finna go crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Oh, uh, other than that. I'm gonna try to do y'all because it's Friday, bro. So I ain't even gonna really just listen to this little outro and shit. So, my mama, so I'm gonna catch y'all later. I don't know why.